host you was all. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Wolverine. This is Wolverine from the movies. So this is Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. And this is the Amazon exclusive. I'm so excited. However, I didn't get this from Amazon. I actually got it from uh, indemandtoys.co.uk. So thank you very much to Indemand Toys for getting hold of this for us. That's really cool. Uh, this is Wolverine from the Marvel Legends series. It has got the 14 plus logo on it, indicating that it is from the Sony movie. Sorry, the Fox movie series. We haven't done Sony yet. Fox movie series. And uh, yeah, this is Wolverine. Not a lot else to say. It is from the X Men line, guys. We have got a bunch of others on pre order. Hopefully, very soon we should also be able to pre order some of the Comic Con exclusives like uh, Professor Xavier and Logan from the Logan movie. Uh, I'm looking forward to grabbing those. But I already have uh, Professor X and Magneto on order, and a bunch of others, and the other Logan that's coming out, I've got him on order already. So, stay tuned guys, we've got lots of goodies coming up on the channel. So let's go ahead and break this Wolverine out of the packaging. Normally I would do a write-up from the back of the box, but there is none of this one, it's just a shadowed picture of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. The box inside does have the yellow X insignia, just like this. Which is a pretty cool inlay. If you wanted to pull that out, you can just pull these out. I do use them sometimes uh, for my Instagram backgrounds because they look pretty good. It's better than just a standard background. That's true for all for all figures, really. A lot of the NECA release ones, I ended up keeping the, inla the inlays to the boxes because they were pretty decent for photographs. And on the photographs, you, usually you can't tell that it's just a cardboard background. It looks pretty good. Dropping stuff already, are we, Sorrel? We're starting that game early today. Oh, where is that gone? <clears throat> oh, look, it's just there. Oh, dear me. breaking out of the box. Oh no, that's not breaking out of the box because apparently they've suit them. For whatever reason, they've uh, taped his claws in. But only one side. The other side does not have tape on. Hasbro logic. So it comes initially with the bone claws, which I actually like. I actually like the bone claws. Uh, the bone claws I'm glad he comes with because I'm I want I'll be using those hands with the, the other Wolverines as well because the ones that, the ones that came with the Wolverine the yellow Wolverine with the bone claws that we got um, they're for the gloved hands not for bare hands these ones are for the bare hands ha. if that makes sense um, so this Wolverine. Ugh. Ooh, it's got some nice new joints on there though for the Wolverine. I like that. I don't like these. I hate these. I hate these. Because they don't they never sit right and they never look good on photography. It looks awful. But the head is on a ball of joints, so you can make him look pretty far back as well as down, left, and right there. The likeness of Hugh Jackman is there, it is decent. I like that. It does look like a young Hugh. Uh, he's got the butterfly hinge, so you can rotate his arms backwards and forwards. He also rotates up there and rotates at the bicep. There's also the double hinged elbow there as well. He is double hinged, as you can see. And the hands are on ball joints. So lots of nice articulation there. You can crunch him forwards as well as backwards. He does also have a waist swivel. The legs do lift out on this one as well, pretty far. As well as forwards, backwards a little bit. Top thigh cut there. Double hinged knees. And the boot are on rocker and pivot. And there are holes in the feet, should you wish to use a display stand. Although Marvel Legends are usually pretty good at being able to balance on their own. Very rarely do I use bases with Marvel Legends. I am going to go ahead though and switch out the bone clawed hands. I don't think I'll be using that with my Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Um, I think I would like my Hugh Jackman Wolverine to resemble the, the majority of the movies where he's got the metal claws. So I am going to go ahead and pop those in. And that's how they look. They look pretty good. Whoosh. 
nice and thick as well. They're not actually skinny as I thought they were going to be. So they're a pretty new design of claw. Um, just to show you as well, those were the bone claws that came with them, which are pretty decent. I love them. Uh, I will be using them though on a different Wolverine, hopefully. And as well, he does come with these alternate head sculpts as well. This is the static head sculpt that's on right now. If I pop that head off, by the way, you can just remove those if you wanted to remove them. Um, and you can pop on the second head sculpt. Ooh. Stiff. There we go. Which is the more angry-faced Wolverine. If you're going to shoot me, then shoot me! <laughs> Calm down, Wolverine. Hmm? Striker. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen X2, actually. But yeah, they've given them butterfly hinges, so we can do the classic Wolverine dive with the... So you can get some pretty cool poses out of him. My only thing doesn't come with a cigar. That's probably because it's Hasbro, and it, I know it's an adult collectible. Don't get me wrong. But Hasbro still designed toys for children. I say this a lot, and people always flame me for it. That's like when I mentioned about the gun colours and things like that. People went mental in the comments about it. Hasbro still designed toys for kids. This technically is still accessible to children. Even though it's 20 quid, some parents will buy that. <laughs> and obviously, they can't promote smoking. But Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, to me, should definitely have a cigar as standard. Because Hugh Jackman smokes cigars for 90% of those movies. If you continue to smoke that in here, I'll, I'll have you living under the guise that you're a six-year-old girl. You can do that. I'll have Jean braid your hair. <laughs> so yeah, for me, you should definitely have a cigar. Definitely. But I like the fact that um, the hands obviously are interchangeable. We can use these claws if we wanted to with our other Wolverines as well. And obviously the heads are swappable, so we can now go ahead and stick Hugh Jackman's head on any of the other figures that we do have in the series. So, without further ado guys, we're going to go down to the desk cam, take a closer look at Wolverine. That secondary head sculpt always never wants to go on. Have a, second, have a proper good look at Wolverine. And then, <laughs> we're going to have some head swapping fun. <laughs> so let's head on down to the desk cam! Another really cool variant that they could give us for this Wolverine would definitely be um, a sort of um, unshirted version of Wolverine that's battle damaged. You know, like when he's regenerating in the films, you see the bullet holes in his chest and stuff. That'd be awesome to have like a battle like damaged Wolverine that's mid-healing. That'd be cool for photos and stuff. Obviously, I don't think they could ever do that because it'd be pretty gruesome, but that would be pretty cool. So I'm loving the pose I've managed to get him in here, guys. Um, just a sort of generic static sort of standing, but he's like alert. I like that face. It's like he just smells something like Sabretooth stalking him or something. Looks pretty cool. I'm a really big fan of this Wolverine. I didn't think I was going to be, and I, I remember saying, like, everyone was saying, like, oh, they've got theirs on pre-order. And I never managed to secure a pre-order with Amazon, and I got really, like, I was kind of, like, over it at that point. I was like, all right, maybe I'm never going to own this figure. And then I got the opportunity to grab it, and I'm so glad I did. Now I've got it in hand. It's possibly one of the best figures I've seen this year. And as a massive fan of X-Men and Wolverine and Hugh Jackman in general, this is definitely one of the figures you've got to own, I think. Just looks so good. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of this figure? Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this one. But even the paintwork and stuff, it looks... You, know, like you can see like the lines on the shirt and stuff, and you can see the, like, the creases in the denim, and... It just looks realistic. It looks very cool. And those new but new hinges on Wolverine are awesome. Love those. I know we've had those on a couple of Wolverines previously, don't get me wrong, but I like that on this one. It just it makes him so much more poseable. It's awesome. But let's have some head swapping fun, because I've been dying to do this. Ah, uh, the Hugh Jackman we all wanted, but no, we never got. <laughs> the yellow tiger stripe Wolverine with Hugh Jackman. Oh, we never got that one. That's a shame. Can you at least return Ryan Reynolds' call so we can have this Wolverine at least? 
Come on, how awesome would it be to get the actual proper X-Force with Wolverine, with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in Deadpool 3? That'd be awesome. How Days of Future Past Wolverine should have looked. <laughs> actually, that's not that bad. I actually like that, you know. If it was snowing outside, that'd be a kick-ass costume for him to wear. Age of Apocalypse, Jackson. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor Hugh Jackman. That looks awful. You know when you played the old 007 GoldenEye game as a kid and you put the, you put the cheats in and you got big head mode? That's what this looks like right now. No fair, bub. Why did they make you taller than me? So as you can see, compared to the regular Wolverines, they have actually made the Hugh Jackman one slightly taller. Well, a little, quite a bit taller. So the Wolverine heads don't fit on the other Wolverine bodies. It makes the head, the head looks too big on the bodies, basically. So it just looks ridiculous. Hence all my photos and the stupid hair. But yeah, I wish they'd have made him to scale of the other Wolverine so we could have at least had some head swapping to do with other Wolverine costumes. You know what I mean? But no, we're stuck with Hugh Jackman on the taller scale body. Oh, we could have had some fun. That just looks weird. And finally, what we all want to see in a cinematic universe movie. Any time now, please. <laughs> That's the start of a new Wolverine. Shame it's not going to be Hugh Jackman. It's not going to be the same when finally Wolverine does don our screens once again. Hugh Jackman, you have been my childhood hero. Hang on, let, let me get you out of this costume before we have this chat. So yes, Mr. Jackson, you... Mr. Jackman, you have been my Wolverine. Since I was 11 years old, I wasn't even old enough to go to the cinema to see the first X-Men. We had to lie to get me in. But you have been, li been literally Wolverine nearly my entire life. So it's going to be hard to let go of Hugh Jackman as Wolverine for me. But I'm looking forward to seeing what the cinematic universe brings us in the future. But before then, I do hope that, that Hasbro can bring us a few more Hugh Jackman Wolverines. Because let, let's face it, they bring us regular Logans all the time. Hopefully they'll milk this bad boy too. And you know what? I'll buy each and every single one. What are your thoughts on, on this one, guys? Do you like this figure? Let me know in the comments below. So, guys, what are your thoughts on Hugh Jackman's Wolverine? Let me know in the comments down below. Is this a figure you're going to be getting for your collection? I'd love to hear back from you guys down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Soupsol, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!